All right, guys. It is a foggy gray day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is a Tuesday. I think it's March 7th, 2023. So, uh, what is going on here is a great metaphor for the collapse of a planet. So, I am in Canyon Lake. Texas. We're about an hour south of Austin. Uh, so I guess when I was down in Mexico a few weeks ago, they had this ice storm, you know, due to the wobbly jet stream. So they had this big ice storm uh, all over Texas where all of these beautiful oak trees were. Uh, covered in ice and I mean it's unbelievable the uh, amount of damage up here I had no clue uh, what their what my friend was talking about so she lives on about one-third of one acre so actually she's got like maybe ten of these nice big oak trees and uh, I think her bill for these guys is $1,500, so $150 a tree. And uh, so they're out here. You know, what happened was is the, is the branches snapped. And the, you know, the weight of the ice snapped the branches, and uh, which doesn't sound like that big of a deal. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's ugly, and you would think, well, just you know, the branches that snapped obviously are going to turn brown, and just go cut the damn branches off. What's the big deal? Well, what's going on? The big deal is called oak wilt. Uh, this horrible disease. Uh, I don't even know. I should know. Uh, a little bit about the more about it so you see this is where the uh, this is where the the branch cracked and so what happens is this oak wilt is some sort of virus and what it does is it gets in here inside these cracks and starts you know killing the tree it could take probably two or three years and so what these guys are doing is they're coming along you know behind the break and cutting it uh, and then they spray on this uh, thick black on the tree trunk you know to keep the virus from being able to get into the tree uh, so that is the goal, but what looks like a few broken branches, uh, which doesn't seem like that big a deal, in the next two or three years, the entire tree is going to be dead. And you got to understand, <laughs> I, I, I mean, there's millions of oak trees in Texas. I mean, it's like every single oak tree... Uh, in the in the whole part of Texas, yes. There you go. Did you find him up the tree? <laughs> no, he was over there. He was. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm talking millions of trees, oak trees in Texas have these breaks on them now. It's pretty much every damn tree. You can go along looking at every oak tree in the state of Texas and seeing these uh, breaks in them. And all it takes is one cut like that. And the oak wilt is going to get in there. And what's going to happen, you come back in two or three years uh, after this oak wilt has gotten out there and gotten into the oak tree... And there are going there 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 is going to be an oak wilt. Uh, pan the last one was 2011, I believe, is when it swept through. 
I don't know what precipitated that, uh, but, but you're going to see a major collapse of the uh, Texas oak forest because of this and, uh, and, and people aren't going to make the connection. And as I say, this is such a perfect metaphor for uh, what's going on with the collapse of global industrial civilization. That we, we have, you know, it's a death by a thousand cuts all over this planet. Shit like this is going on behind the scenes that uh, people don't understand the, the the little cuts in the oak trees bringing in the viruses and these viruses are, are going to be getting in there and doing their slow but steady work and nobody is making the connections and uh, there you go so we're going to uh, let these poor oak trees you know Imagine spending $150. That's one thing. I, I, I mean, my friend, you know, has a handful of these trees. So, $1,500. Imagine, you know, this other former friend of mine. She's got 35 acres of these oak trees. 35 acres. Uh, with hundreds uh, of these beautiful oaks. So, uh, any who's, welcome to, uh, welcome to the great state of Texas, but, uh, come back in a couple of years and, uh, mark my words, you will see the collapse of a planet in the great state of Texas. Anyway, I'm going to get out and take my little dog for a walk and hope a big limb doesn't fall on him. Uh, well, at least we're getting some nice firewood out of the deal.